Good evening. This is a renegade. Um, this is a rather interesting situation for me and probably something that I should have done a long time ago. I am living out of my car for the next three months to experience in real world time everything that a homeless individual would have to go through. Where do we bathe? How, what are the challenges um, such as going to a bathroom, staying clean, staying hydrated? I'm dealing with all that, and it's starting to get warmer, so it's harder to actually stay hydrated. I'm also working a full-time job and living out a rogue. Um, it's not, it's not easy. It is definitely not something that I would suggest anybody in the right mind would go and do. Um, I'm doing it primarily so I have some kind of credibility when I actually talk about the needs of the people that I'm trying to help. I'm also trying to put together a research project while I'm out here that is not um, is not fully developed to the point that I can describe it. But basically, I'm trying to define the different classes of the homeless individual and how much help each class would actually need and whether or not you can help. I've actually learned that there is definitely three classifications of the homeless out here. Um, the highest being the intentionally homeless, which are living out of their cars, they're most likely employed, um, they're just living like gypsies. And then there's the situationally homeless where something happened, they got sick or something, they couldn't make rent and they got evicted. Um, and then there is the chronically homeless, where addictions and behavior patterns perpetually put them out on the street, to the point where they actually prefer to be out on the street, because they want the freedom to do the drugs and the alcohol that they long for. Well, um, I'm in a Walmart parking lot right now. My driver's seat's completely reclined. It's getting warmer, so I'm, I got my sleeping bag. And I've actually... I should preface this, I've actually been out here since since mid-February. My last day out here is slated to be May 23rd. It's an arbitrary number, but it's 
it's a point. I have to, I have to put an end to the project and get on with my life or cycle into one of the categories that I previously talked about. Um, as I said, the people that are intentionally homeless have an income. They have no problem keeping, taking care of themselves or whatever. They just choose to be out here rather than paying the obscene amounts of money for rent, which is increasing. There needs to be some kind of government government regulation for this because, honestly, our society is perpetuating a problem. At this point, my dad and I are paying about as much for a two-bedroom apartment as I would for a four-bedroom house to pay a mortgage. This is ridiculous. And this is something that really should have never happened. But people were willing to pay it, so it got locked in. It is not right. It is definitely slighted toward to um, discriminate against certain classes of people. As a matter of fact, I went downtown and called about a, basically a slum. Um, I've been inside the building. There's structural dry rot throughout the entire building. The only way to actually fix the problems that this building has is to start over from scratch demolishing and rebuilding. Um, so I knew flat out that there, that this should have been a lower end um, price category for rent. I called the number listed for for the apartment complex. And this apartment complex was actually built around the turn of the 1900s. So there's reasons that it actually has the problems that it does. It's a historical landmark, so they keep it going. But the reality is it probably should be condemned or just not rented out as apartments. Um, maybe tours or something, I don't know. But I call them up, and they go, well, first of all, in order to qualify, you have to have at least a 700 credit score. Really? I've seen these apartments. Basically, this is exactly what you would see in a um, movie about New York where you have a bed inside the wall and no living room. Your kitchen is your living room. You have a closet for a bathroom and half of a shower. And they want almost two grand to live there. This is the Northwest. This is Vancouver, Washington. Okay? We don't have an overpopulation problem. We don't have... We don't have a real estate problem. We have plenty of, plenty of room to develop. And... There isn't a supply and demand problem when it comes to when it comes to renting apartments. So there's no reason for these obscene prices except for greed.
I opted out of living with the Steiners because I saw myself not going anywhere, not improving myself, and I started to cuss more. I started to have a worse attitude about life um, because of the people that I was around. So I took it on myself, and I'm out here. And I am incredibly happy that I am. Um, two weeks ago, I got paid. And I came across this single mom, um, mid-twenties, with an infant that looked like barely a month old. She was a runaway. She left an abuse situation, an abusive situation, and she had nowhere to go. Her parents weren't in a position to take her in, and she had nowhere to go. When I found her, it was one of the coldest nights that I'd been out here. And I opened my door, passenger side door, moved some stuff around so she could sit down with the baby. And said, I'm sorry I don't have a car seat, but um, hop in and I'll take you to a motel she's like I don't have any money like you don't worry about the money you just get some rest and take care of your baby I never asked for her name I just took her in um, got her set up with the room paid for the room Gave her some extra money for for food or whatever. And said, have a good night. I would have never been able to do that if it wasn't for the fact that I had disposable income because I wasn't paying rent. Guys... We are at an impasse in this country where we have to look at being kind to each other for the benefit of being kind and not looking at it, what's in it for me. This is Anarchy Empowered. I've taken down the website. I'm restructuring the whole organization again. And I'm hoping that people will start to listen to what I have to say. Because we are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Each and every one of us that is in a better position than the person next to us is called to help that person. That might need a little bit more help than we do. So please, be kind to each other. This is Renegade, signing off. Till next time.